Hey guys, this is Sheetal here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really interesting product to show you all. It's the Xiaomi Aquara Temperature and Humidity Sensor. This tiny little sensor can detect the real-time temperature, humidity and also atmospheric pressure. This can really be useful at your home or office and one more thing is you can connect this sensor to any other smart device and also control them using it. Like you can set the temperature or humidity where other smart device should turn on or off. Isn't that cool? I would like to thank Sunsky for sending me this product for review purpose. Sunsky is a website where we get many different products like this so I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Do check it out guys. Now let's see the box packing. We've got the Aquara branding over here and at the back side we can see some specs on it. Everything is written in Chinese over here but I can understand that it has a CR2032 battery and it uses Zigbee wireless technology for connection and control. So that's it guys, it's a tiny little white box and there's nothing much written on it so let's get started with the unboxing. In the box we've got a user manual, make sure to read it once as it has the complete information about the product. This one's the sticker which you have to place it at the back side of the sensor so you can stick it anywhere easily but don't place it on any metal surface as it can change the readings. And finally here is the Xiaomi's Aquara temperature and humidity sensor. It's really very tiny and cute. At the top we've got the LED status indicator and at the back side there's a circular sticker. You can just peel it and place it anywhere you want. Here you can see the sensors and this one's the power button. Just look at the size of it guys, it's so small and cute. It's made of plastic and the build quality is also very nice. Guys, to use this Xiaomi's temperature sensor, you first need this Xiaomi multi-purpose gateway. You have to connect this temperature sensor with this gateway and then it will show you the readings. So first let me show you this gateway. This is how it looks. At the top we've got the speaker and you can see the Xiaomi home devices logo at the center. This is the LED status indicator ring and you can also use it as a night lamp. There are about 16 million variable colors. So you can select the color according to your choice. This one's the reset button. You just have to press it for 5 seconds to reset your device. At the back side we've got 3 pin plug. It's not even that heavy, it just weighs about 150 grams and the build quality is also nice. Now let me tell you the features of this gateway. You can measure many things like temperature, humidity, movement, light and sound but for that you first need to connect it to other Xiaomi smart home devices like door sensor, temperature sensor to use these features. This gateway acts like a hub for all these sensors and there's also a FM radio function in it. You can also set the time when you want to listen it and it will automatically turn on the radio at that particular time. Isn't that awesome? And you can also use it as a night lamp. So using this gateway we can connect up to 20 smart devices and control them. Ok guys I've plugged in my gateway, now I'll turn it on and show you how it works. When you turn on the gateway the LED status indicator ring starts flashing in blue color which means it's setting up and searching for the device to be paired but I've already paired it to my phone so the blue light stops once it gets connected to my phone. Now I'll show you the app, the app you need to install is the Mi Home app. As I'm showing it to you on my Mi 6X phone, it's already built in app so this is how the app interface looks like. This one's the home and here you can see the Mi smart devices that you have paired with your phone. This one's the gateway control interface. Here you can see the alert is disabled. If you press that it's saying to set the alert trigger. So if you set any alert, when it reaches that condition it starts ringing. You can also check the alert log over here. When you swipe it you get the radio. Let me play it and show you. I guess it just plays Chinese radios. You can also adjust the volume of it over here. This is where you can turn on the LED light. It has about 16 million changeable colors and you can select it according to your choice. You can also adjust the brightness of the light over here. This light is really bright and can be used as a night lamp also. In auto it shows you the various devices you can connect to it like lamp, alarm clock, doorbell. Let me select the induction night light. Oh, so if you have any one of these devices you can turn it on or off or control it directly from the app. You can also add scenes in it like if the temperature is above or below a particular level then you can set it to turn off or send you a notification. This can really be helpful. In devices it shows you all the devices you've connected to it. You can also change the color of the lamp and brightness from here. There's also scene color option means there are different themes in it and if you select them it will automatically set that color according to that theme. 
You can also adjust the volume levels of different activities over here. Here you can add radio stations, but I guess you can add only Chinese radio stations. And this one's where you can add child devices. If you click on that, it will show you all the Xiaomi sensors and you can select the device which you have. I've already added my temperature sensor to it. Here at the top, we have some more settings. In about, we have the app version. In automation, you can add any other device that you want to control through your sensor. In general settings, you can rename your device. You can also set password to your device, check the firmware updates, add it as a home screen shortcut, and there are many more features. Now let's connect the temperature sensor to this gateway. You can see it's showing the device is offline. To turn it on, you just have to press the power button for 4-5 to five seconds until the blue light flashes. I've already paired it with the gateway, so once it's on, it automatically gets connected. You can see guys, it's showing the readings. It can detect temperature from a range of minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius, humidity from 0 to 100% relative humidity, and atmospheric pressure from 30 to 110 kilopascals. It's showing almost correct readings about 90% of the time. Here you can set the automations to turn it on or off automatically and in general settings you can also rename your device or add home screen shortcut and also change the location you place your sensor like in office or kitchen. So that was about the app, it's really easy to understand and you can also control various devices through it. That was my unboxing and review of the Xiaomi Aquara temperature sensor and the Xiaomi gateway. The build quality is good, the temperature sensor can really be useful at times. It shows you the readings accurately almost 90% of the time. You can place this sensor at your home or office and know the temperature and humidity of that room from anywhere and also turn on or off other smart devices when it's above or below some particular level through this sensor. And with the gateway you can control all these sensors which is awesome. The temperature sensor costs about 760 rupees and the gateway costs about 1700 rupees and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So that's it for today guys, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a video. See you in my next one.